Hi friends, welcome to Naresh I Technologies. Today, let us discuss few questions that are asked in TCS written test. Raj goes to market to buy some oranges. If he can bargain and reduce the price of each orange by rupees 2, then he can buy 30 oranges instead of 20 oranges with the money he has. How much money does Raj have? Now, this question can be solved in different ways. Now, let us see which method is easy to solve. Now, looking into the three methods, the first method. Now, let us assume that the initial price of each orange is rupees x. Now, here in the information it is given, he can buy 30 oranges instead of 20 oranges. That means, initially if the price of each orange is rupees x, then he can buy only 20 oranges. That means, the total money spent on oranges should be equal to 20 into x, that is 20 x. Now, the condition is if he can bargain and reduce the price of each orange by rupees 2. That means, the new price of each orange after bargaining should be equal to x minus 2. Then, the number of oranges he can buy is 30. Then, what is the total money spent? The total money spent should be equal to 30 into x minus 2. So, this is also the total money and this is also total money. So, both should be equal. Now, equating these two, 30 into x minus 2 should be equal to 20x, 30x minus 60 is 20x, 10x equal to 60 or x equal to 6. That means, the initial price of each orange should be 6 rupees. So, what is the total money he has? So, the total money Raj has should be equal to 20 into 6 which is 120 rupees. Now, this is one way to solve this particular question where we have assigned the variable to the price of each orange. Now, let us look into the second method of solving this particular problem. Now, let us look into the second method of solving this problem. In the first method, we have assumed the variable x for price of each orange. Now, let us assume that x for the total money Raj has. Now, if I assume the total money Raj has is rupees x, then initially he was able to buy 20 oranges then what should be the price, initial price of each orange before bargaining should be equal to x by 20. Later on, after bargaining, he is able to buy 30 oranges. So, the new price of each orange after bargaining should be x by 30. Now, according to the question, the difference between the initial price and the new price should be 2 rupees. That is x by 20 minus x by 30 should be equal to 2 rupees. Now, taking the LCM of 20 and 30, the LCM of 20 and 30 is 60. 23, so 3 into x, 3x minus 30 into 2, 2 into x, 2x should be equal to now, solving this x by 60 equal to 2, x equal to 120. So, the money Raj has is 120. Now, this is the second way of solving the problem by using the variable x for the total money Raj has. Now, in both the methods what we have used, we have used variables. Now, let us see how can we solve this particular problem without using variables. Now, let us look into the third method, 
how to solve this particular problem in a very simple way without using any variables. Now, general common sense is, common sense is that price of each article multiplied by number of articles should give us the total expenditure. Price of each article un per unit quantity multiplied by number of articles should give us the total expenditure and when this expenditure is constant then price and the number of articles should be inversely proportional to each other that is price of each article and number of articles should be inversely proportional to each other. Now if you look here initially he is able to buy 20 oranges later on he is able to buy 30 oranges that is the number of oranges initially and later on should be in the ratio of 20 is to 30 which is 2 is to 3. So, then what should be the price of each orange? The price of each orange should be in the ratio of 3 is to 2 and the difference in 3 and 2 is 1 part which should be equal to 2 rupees. If 1 part is 2 rupees, 3 parts should be 6 rupees. So, this 6 rupees is the price of each orange when the number of oranges he was purchasing is 20. So, the total money he has should be equal to 20 into 6 which is 120 or we can solve from here also. 1 part is equal to 2 rupees, 2 parts should be equal to 4 rupees. Now, 4 rupees is the price of each orange when he is able to buy 30 oranges, then the total money spent on oranges should be equal to 30 into 4 which is 120 rupees. Now, this is how you can answer this particular question without using any variables in a very simple way. Thank you for watching. For more videos, subscribe to Naresh IT.